Because you know, what made you do it right now? Did you, did you plan to do it or was it just spontaneous right now? No, no, it's just, it's just he was saying that he lets his wife handle all his, his uh, business situation, whatever she says goes. Well, then why did, he, why did he open his mouth on HBO, you know, national television, that he was going to give me a rematch? You know what I mean? I thought he was a man of his word. You know, he's a coward. You know what I mean? I guess, I guess a, word of, a man's word isn't worth anything nowadays. You know what I mean? He had nothing to say. And, and I know he's scared. I know he has fear in him. I know he knows what would happen in the rematch. That's it, but he just finished knocking out an individual who's never been put down. Aren't you yeah. a little bit intimidated by that? Yeah. Intimidated? Yeah. Me? Did you see how, how the fight ended when I fought him? Did you see him in the, in the position that he was in? He was knocked out. Do you think, it, do you think Teddy out. Atlas will change anything for him in a rematch with you? Well, let's find out. How's that? If you feel so confident, oh, Teddy Atlas, Teddy Atlas, you know this and that one. If, if he thinks that he helps him that much, well then, so, but let's, you, let's see what he'll do in a rematch. Were you surprised, though? With, um, let's see what he'll do in a rematch. Rios is known for his chin. For him to get knocked out, though, were you surprised that Rios was knocked uh, out? Yeah, I think everybody was surprised that he was able to, to stop him. You know, I didn't think he, he connected him in the chin. He connected him in the body, you know, with a good body shot. Um, like I told him, you know what I mean, clearly. You know, I just speak the facts. You know, he con I congratulate him on a good win, a great win. But I mean, we have something pending still. We will, we will continue to have it pending until we get that rematch. If, if not ten next, then who will be looking at? I would have to talk to my manager, Cameron Duncan. I mean, he knows that that I want the Bradley rematch. That's the main one because we have unfinished business, and because he agreed to a rematch in front of everybody. You know, I mean, everybody knows it, uh, and that's that's what I'm trying to I'm, I'm pursuing. Uh, but. You know, I would, have, I would have to talk with my manager, Cameron Duggan, see what other options are out there. I know you were mentioned for a possible fight with Saddam Ali. Uh, I guess you didn't want to fight him in New York. Was that the... That's right. My manager did uh, tell me that it was a negotiation, but that he had agreed. Uh, he had to told them and spoke with me about it, and I agreed to myself that we wouldn't go to New York to fight him. We would go anywhere else, you know, preferably Vegas. You know, I haven't fought in Vegas uh, in quite some time. so. Uh, if, you want, if, if they want to fight, you know, we have to be in Vegas or anywhere that my, that my manager feels that I would be good for. Jesse, what does that say about you that you were able to pretty much land such a hard shot in your previous bout with Bradley? And Brandon wasn't, couldn't connect with anything tonight as much of a puncher as he is. What does that say about you as a boxer as compared to Brandon Rios? Um, you know, I think that the fans are the only ones that could say that. You know, they could give you that answer. I personally, I could just say that, um, you know, I fought my best uh, that night with, with what I had. And um, I connected him to, um, you know, later in the fight. I wish it would have been a little earlier. I wish they would have gave me those extra eight seconds to, to finish him off because all you need is one extra punch. You know, and, and as I said, I repeated, uh, we have unfinished business, you know, so we just have to wait and see.